All right, let's talk about surround panning and surround integration in the Mio uh, version 5 console. You actually can set the width of any of the buses when you actually add them in the uh, either configure mixer window or if you're adding a single bus by doing your own manually configured mixer. So you actually can set the bus type here between stereo and 7.1. So let's go to our traditional stereo bus here. I get two channels on the traditional uh, rotary knob for left and right panning. Now, if I put my bus at any point over to the 5 channel, or actually anywhere between stereo and 7, let's go do a 5 channel this time. Notice that my record panel is always running here and is automatically recording all 5 channels. Let's show you how that's actually set up. We're setting the uh, direct app pre-insert, uh, set to auto, to grab file wires 1 through 5, which are automatically being recorded in the record panel. So you have a quick um, you know, bounce back of your bus, which is really kind of cool. Now, how about the panners? We have full panner controls for the surround implementation on each channel. Go ahead and slowly move my panner here to the different fields. And notice in the record panel on the right side here that my channels are moving and the signals are moving through the different pans here. Now, there's a couple of, uh, of modifier keys that you can actually add to the surround panner. Now, the first one is if you hold the shift key down. If you hold the shift key down, it goes ahead and moves the surround panner in a perfect circle. Let me slowly do that for you. Holding down shift, and then dragging my mouse very slowly around the edge here, I get a perfect circle in a direction. If you watch the record panel again, you can see my signals panning from side to side in a perfect circle. It's great for doing kind of around your head mixes, especially for film work. Now, of course, the Option key will go ahead and bring it right back to center. One more Option modifier key would be the Shift and Option. Go ahead and bring this down here. Now, Shift and Option moves everything through the center. So in this case, it brings it up to the center, does more of an S-curve for uh, sound effects and folly work where the actual sounds go kind of up and over your head from one side to the other. So again, that's Shift and Option, and it'll drag any sound through the center. And if it's slightly off the axis here, it'll do it more with a gentle S-curve where it brings it up and then rounds it off at the end there. Now, when you're working with multi-channel buses and you have to flip down to mono, the uh, console will remember the pan position and try to integrate it into that mix that you're referring to. So, if I'm in five channels right now, I'm going home to a two-channel solution. It's going to go ahead and try to approximate that pan position into a two-channel mix. Now, it does the best that it can, brings it over to left 61.9, but it actually has remembered the exact position within the mixer. So if I, at some point later, go back to Configure Mixer and bring it back up to five channels, it brings it back to the exact spot it was. And the same thing holds true if I'm back at 2.0. And notice that while I'm doing this, the record panel is running the whole time, flipping back and forth between five channels, auto record enabled, and two channels. It's very, very cool. If I grab the pan pot and I grab a hard right, you know, full uh, right pan there, and now I go ahead and configure the mixer back to five channels it goes ahead and gives me a hard right mute in the, uh, in the record panel and a hard right mute in the uh, stereo panner. So it's very, very cool in how it automatically remembers where you are and tries to approximate when you're upsampling or downsampling the number of channels that you have in your surround configuration. Here's one more cool thing if you're doing uh, theater and live sound work is our implementation of LCR. Where your uh, right to left panner gives you a true right and shown here in the record panel gives you a true left again shown here in the record panel and if you actually option click this bring it back to center you have a full center control here so if you're doing LCR in live theater uh, live sound reinforcement drama uh, very very cool technology that you can have a simple uh, right to left encoder that gives you anywhere between full left full right and true center and again with the record panel going you can go ahead and stem out any of your mixes to the record panel recording all the times and if you change the configuration from LCR up to 5, it keeps recording. So that's surround integration in the Mio version 5 mixer.